Imagine a huge army invades your country. Just a massive army comes in and invades your country. What would you do? Well, you really only have two choices, right? You only have two options. Either you can fight and probably die because they're a huge army, or you can acquiesce. You could acquiesce. And that's probably what most people would do, right? Most people in that situation would just acquiesce. Do you know what this word means? Well, welcome to another vocabulary lesson here at Mad English TV, where I teach you these kinds of words. So, hey, if you're new here, welcome here. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much to all my existing subscribers. I really appreciate you. So, um, acquiesce, right? Acquiesce is pronounced like this. Ac, we, we, we're, we're learning together. We're having a good English lesson together right now, okay? Ac, we, s, like the letter s, right? Ac, we, s. And what it means is to accept something reluctantly, without protest, okay? So you accept something reluctantly that means you you don't want to accept it but you just you accept it against your will okay but without protest okay so you accept it but without protest okay there's no protesting right so let's say the the massive army comes in right you don't want them to be there you want them to get lost but they're there, they're taking over your country, and what can you do? You know, you don't want to fight and die because your family needs you. So, you know, you just kind of acquiesce, right? You accept it reluctantly, and you don't protest, right? Uh, I mean, if you were to protest, you'd probably die, right? The soldiers would probably shoot you. Right. So that's what it means. That's what acquiesce means. Now, you hear this word quite often in different situations in English, you know, politics, business. Um, I don't know, just just all different areas of life. OK, so let's look at uh, some examples. He acquiesced to her wish not to consummate their relationship out of wedlock. Do you understand what this sentence means? He acquiesced to her, uh, to her wish not to con consummate their relationship out of wedlock. Okay, wedlock means marriage. Okay, so if you're, you know, if you're getting married to someone, you're, you're in wedlock. If you're out of wedlock, that means you're, you're not married yet. Right. And sometimes people have children out of wedlock and, you know, throughout history, that's been seen as a bad thing or that's been seen as kind of like a, you know, an unacceptable thing when people have children out of wedlock. Right. I mean, throughout history, most societies, you know, people have children in wedlock, within wedlock, not out of wedlock. Right. So that's what wedlock means. Now, consummate means to have sex. All right. So, um, he acquiesced to her wish not to consummate their relationship out of wedlock. What this means is he accepted her wish not to have sex before marriage. Okay. So I guess he wanted to, right? That's why we're using the word acquiesced. He wanted to have sex before marriage, but she didn't want to, right? So he he reluct <laughs> he reluctantly gave in to her wish or her demand, right? You know, I guess he really wanted to marry her, right? So he acquiesced. So he he reluctantly accepted that, and he didn't protest, right? He he just said, okay, you know, ah. Uh, Another way to say it is he passively accepted. 
I mean, he didn't really want he didn't want that situation, but he passively accepted it. He didn't protest and say, oh, we, you're, oh, I'm not happy about this. I mean, he was unhappy inside, but he didn't really protest. You know, he just accepted it reluctantly. Okay, her boss asked her to work all weekend. She acquiesced. You know, everybody hates working the weekend, right? That's not a good thing. I mean, let me know. Do you like working on the weekends? So her boss asked her to work all weekend, right? Saturday, Sunday, maybe Friday night. Nobody wants to work all weekend. But, you know, she she accepted it. She acquiesced. Right? It means she reluctantly accepted it without protesting. So uh, another way to say it is comply. You know, this word is very similar. If you comply with with someone's, I don't know, with anything, like you, if you comply with the laws, regulations of a, of a company or something like that, it means it just means you, you, you go along with it, right? Whether you like it or not, I mean, I don't know. This word doesn't necessarily mean that you don't like it. I mean, for me, I comply with the laws here in Canada, right? So if I'm driving down the road and the speed limit is 100, I, you know, I typically stay somewhere around 100. So I comply with the law. Now, do I like it or not? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it much. I just go along with it, right? I comply with it. Okay. The hostage takers are demanding $5 million. The police are not going to acquiesce. Hostage takers means someone who who like takes a hostage in a situation, right? Kind of like terrorism, kind of like kidnapping, right? Where bad guys go into a building, let's say, and they're demanding something from the, you know, from the public or from the police or someone. And they're saying, look, if you don't give us this, we are going to kill the hostage or we're going to, you know, something bad is going to happen to these hostages. So they've taken these people as kind of like insurance to make sure that they get their demands met, right? Usually hostage takers have demands. They want something and that's why they have like kidnapped the person. And if their demands are met, then they'll let the hostage go free, right? So the police are not going to acquiesce. It means the police are not going to give in to this they're not going to go along with the demands of the hostage takers and that's usually what happens right if a country has some terrorism or something like that the politicians always say we're not going to bargain with the terrorists you know we're going to try to hunt them down and get rid of them right so um the police are not going to acquiesce um Here's another example. Central banks are pretending to fight inflation by raising interest rates. But as soon as the economy tanks, they'll acquiesce and lower the rates again. So tank to tank means to go down, right? So if the economy tanks, it means the economy goes down. Okay, so central banks, central banks in countries like Canada here or the US or, you know, Europe, the European Central Bank, for example, called the ECB, they they set the rates, the interest rates in a country, right? So, you know, if you want to buy a house here in Canada, right now the interest rates are going up. So in the last few months, like the last three months, interest rates have gone up by, I don't know, a few percentage points. I think interest rates now are maybe like 4%, uh, maybe more maybe 4.5 or 5%. Um, but just a few months ago, they were like 2% or like 3% or something like that, right? So they've gone up quite a bit. Um, and well, the reason for that is that central banks want to fight inflation, right? I've talked about inflation uh, previously on some of my videos. And uh, so inflation is not a good thing because it means the value of your money is going down. 
nobody wants to lose money. That means if you have like, you know, a hundred dollars sitting in the bank and you wait for a year and inflate, let's say inflation is 10%. Well, that means you lose 10% of your money by just leaving your money in the bank. That's not good, right? So interest rates need to go up so that you want to put your money in the bank and save your money. Because if you're losing money, it doesn't make sense to put your money in the bank, right? So, um, so anyway, interest rates are going up. But as soon as the economy tanks, they'll acquiesce and lower the rates again, right? They want to raise the rates to fight inflation. But they're not going to be able to. I mean, this is my prediction. Okay, so right now in Canada the rates are, are still really low, but it'll get to maybe like 3%, the, like the Bank of Canada rate, that's the, the central bank here in Canada, will get to maybe 3 or 4%, and then, and then they'll have to left, the economy will go bad, and they'll have to lower the rates again. Because, you know, anytime the, the economy goes into a recession, the government always says, oh, you know, we need to fix this problem. So we need low interest rates to encourage, you know, to, to basically encourage people to do activity and not just like, not just like kind of hang on to their money. Right. And so, um, the, so the Bank of Canada will acquiesce and lower the rates again. It means they want to keep raising the rates to fight inflation but they won't be able to, they will reluctantly have to lower their rate again um, in order to, you know, to make people happy. So that's going against their, their wishes, but they will do it without protesting. They'll, they'll just kind of go along with it, right? So guys, that's it. Um, let's uh, do some homework. I want you to make a sentence with acquiesce. All right, so we looked at some different situations. Um, like I said, you can use this in a lot of different ways, really. a lot of It's just a normal English word, but it's kind of advanced, right? Let me know. Have you ever heard this word before? Let me know down in the comments, and uh, let me know your homework. I'm, I'm in... <clears throat> Good thing I'm losing my voice right at the end of this video, not at the beginning. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm interested to hear your example of acquiesce down there in the comments. Thank you guys for uh, all your support. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, as always, I appreciate you so much. Stay safe, stay happy wherever you are. I love you so much. And as always, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. Mm -hmm.